there were a tremendous number of great actors, but Alan was the one. He was the guy. There was no question about that. He owned the role. And as a fan of, 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 of the books, uh, uh, this uh, casting of Alan in, in the uh, main role uh, feels uh, almost perfect uh, when you see him. And now when you see him in the series, it's uh, for sure uh, that, that he's perfect for this role. Um, a lot of us, when we watched the movies, didn't feel like it was the obvious casting choice, uh, but it, uh, it it happened <laughs> anyways. So I was wondering what you felt like uh, when you got to speak with Alan uh, the first time and, and uh, to see him in the role, if it lived up to your expectations uh, of your own uh, character that you have created. It was fascinating for me because um, because of the pandemic situation, we did all the screen testing remotely by video, which was actually a very good idea because that is all that the viewer is ever going to see is, is the actor on the screen. And so that is all I ever saw initially. And Alan was... There were a tremendous number of great actors, but Alan was the one. He was the guy. There was no question about that. He owned the role. And so he got the part. And then as I got to know him over the course of the shooting, um, I found out really interesting things about him. Uh, first of all, he is the son of two military veterans. He grew up on, on Air Force bases. So he... Because of that, I think he really has a connection with the character. Also, he Reacher is a very, he thinks well. Reacher is a thinker as well as a fighter. And Reacher is always a step ahead of everybody else. And I found out that Alan, when he was younger, was a seriously good chess player. Um, and so again, that was like a connection with the character. So the instinctive judgment that we made at the beginning turned out to be exactly right uh, because he brings with him exactly what we wanted.